This is Tom Bernanke, and do you have ridges on your nails? It can be some easy to fix stuff or it could be some dangerous stuff, but wait till the end because we're going to give you some great remedies and we're going to make sure you're doing great and saving some money. We're starting now. So there's a lot of causes for why you would have ridges on the nails and the toenails because hey, I'm a foot doctor. And for some of these more serious ones, if you're in Michigan, come see us in our Metro Detroit clinics and we'd love to help take care of your toenail problems and your fingernail problems. Let's get to it. So number one is vitamin deficiency. So studies in 2018 and 2022 showed that if you're deficient in vitamin B, vitamin D, vitamin C, biotin, all these different things can cause your toenails to stop growing and your fingernails. So what's important here is let's learn a little bit about nail anatomy. So on the fingers right here, if we look at the side view, you have something called your nail matrix. This isn't like the Keanu Reeves movie. This is stem cells that continuously grow your nail. So like a train on train tracks, the nail grows out. How fast does it grow? It grows about one and a half times faster on the fingernails and uh, you know about 50% slower on the toenails. But on average, it's a grain of rice on the toenails in length in about three or four months is what I usually tell people. On average, that's 1.2 millimeters per month is the official scientific fact that I've seen. So if you have a deficiency, that's gonna stop your nails from growing. You're gonna have ridges, they're gonna come out slow, and you wanna make sure you're getting those vitamins and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Number two is illness. If you're sick, if you're under a lot of stress, that could do it too. So especially in the days of COVID, it's a lot of stress on people. We're gonna see a lot of ridges on the toenails and the fingernails. If you've got an illness, so big ones are diabetes, peripheral arterial disease, heart problems, hypothyroidism. So these are all conditions that a doctor should help you with. So make sure if you have those, that could be a clear cause. So get diagnosed if you're worried about those. Severe skin conditions. So psoriasis can cause it for sure. It's very common psoriasis, eczema. So any type of irritation to your skin, if your skin's red, uh, you know, if you're irritating your skin, washing dishes too much, irritating it, that could cause it. And we'll talk about that in some remedies soon. And the number one thing is injuries to your nail matrix. So if I drop something on my toe, if I jammed my finger, if I'm working hard at a factory with my fingertips, if I'm a dishwasher that's always washing with my hands and my fingers are damaged from all that water, that could do it. And that's where we're gonna start getting into remedies. So the number one thing I see is ladies with manicures, um, there's harsh removers and specific types of paints can really dry out the nail. They make it white and chalky and create ridges on the nails. So the big thing here is number one, get uh, toenail polish that's friendly and I link some below. Uh, there's a couple uh, healthy brands. They're not that much more expensive in today's age. You just gotta make sure you're picking the right ones. And number two, don't use acetone based removers. So acetone can really dry out the nail. So some removers down there, that's a great remedy, couple bucks. I'm not saying it doesn't have to be like a hundred plus dollar paint or anything like that, but that's the single biggest thing. Number two remedy is you wanna make sure you get your B vitamins. So B vitamins are in a lot of food, specifically if you're eating your greens and vegetables in a varied diet, you're gonna be getting your vitamin B. So make sure you eat lots of greens, lots of vegetables. Uh, that's gonna help out quite a bit. Vitamin C. So vitamin C, this is in foods like oranges. This is in supplements. So this is very important for like cold and flu season as well. So always make sure you're getting a vitamin C. Eat your citrus fruits. You know, when you drink your uh, teas, put some lemon in it or buy yourself some oranges at the grocery store next time you're out there. Vitamin D, so me here being in Michigan, no one gets enough. I think something like 85% of people in Michigan are vitamin D deficient. That means 85% of people can have nail ridges. So make sure you get a vitamin D supplement, make sure you spend at least five to 10 minutes out in the sun and you can absorb some of those rays. Apple cider vinegar soaks. So realistically, buy yourself some apple cider vinegar, pour it into a lukewarm water bath and let it just sit for 10 minutes. Stick your fingers in there while you watch some Netflix, you know, some good TV shows on right now, or stick your toes in there. You know, apple cider vinegar, number one, kills bacteria, kills fungus, can help with your fungus, and it can help 
provides some nutrients and some minerals. There's a lot of stuff like iron inside apple cider vinegar. I talk about that in another video at length, but 10 minutes a day can really help your nail quality. Another thing you can do, beeswax. So wax, strong wax, putting that on your fingernails can make a big, big difference. It helps moisturize your nails, especially if you're always sweating or if you're washing dishes and always getting your hands wet. Getting that wax on your fingertips makes a huge difference. So I always recommend people do that in the beginning of the day or if you're exposed to harsh elements, that really moisturizes the skin. Coconut oil is another one. So if you have coconut oil, just get some coconut oil on there. You know, that can make a big difference. Vaseline can make a big difference. So get some of those moisturizers on there every day. It's cheap, it's easy, it's a great home remedy. If you have nail problems such as toenail fungus, we have guides linked down in the show notes. We have guides for psoriasis nails, splitting nails, black nails, toenails coming off, uh, bleeding under the nails. So if you have any of these problems, check down in the show notes. We have a ton of nail guides, including ingrown toenails and the supplements for your guides. So check it out below. And omega-3 fatty acids. So eat your cold water fish, your salmon. Uh, you know, I could name a lot of different fish, but make sure you're getting your omega-3 fatty acids. It is an expensive supplement. So studies do show, and here's the big thing is, there are two important components in omega-3 fatty acids, which are the DHA and the EPA. So these are the actual fatty acids. Some of these crappier supplements are like 90% bad fats and only 10% of those good fats. So make sure when you're buying one, do your research, make sure that the omega-3s actually make up the vast majority of the fatty acid. Otherwise you're just drinking bad fat and you're putting on weight and that's making it even more unhealthy. That's the big problem. There's a lot of crappy omega-3s out there. Get it from the fish if you can, but if you buy a supplement, make sure the vast majority is made up by those good omega-3 fats. Biotin is another important vitamin. This is one that studies recently are showing can make a dramatic difference in helping grow back nails healthier, stronger, and faster. So if you need to, consider biotin as well. And if that all fails, come see a podiatrist like me. If you're in the Michigan area, we'd love to see you. But the thing is, we wanna make sure you're doing healthy. Don't miss the big ones. And we'll keep making these videos hit that bell, subscribe, give us a comment. It really makes a big difference and we wish you the best of health. We have guides for everything. Keep watching. We appreciate you and good luck.